Yesterday, Baranasi District Court gave a judgment on the Gyanabapi Mosque case. What was the case about? It's a mosque which has been in existence for hundreds of years. But some sections of the Hindu community demanded that they be allowed to worship because this mosque had come up by demolishing a temple which existed before. This is a disputed fact. Muslims deny this, Hindus insist it, and there has not been any conclusive evidence whether a temple was destroyed to build a mosque. And but neither side, neither Hindus nor Muslims have been able to conclusively prove their claim. The argument was that some of the women, Hindu women said, let the mosque exist, but we should be allowed to offer prayers in the premises. Obviously, the mosque authorities did not permit it, so matter went to the court. The court obviously has to take a legal position because it's difficult for the court to come to a conclusion whether legitimately it belongs to Hindus or Muslims. There was a question that was raised about a sibling that certain structure which was available, which was visible in the complex, which resembled a sibling in the Hindu temple. But the Muslim group said that is a fountain. So there was a dispute over it. And in that dispute, then the Hindu side demanded that there be carbon dating. Carbon dating so that the matter can be conclusively established. Archaeological Survey of India can do a full survey and full investigation and can do all the experiments available at its disposal to ensure that it comes to a conclusive evidence as to whether this stone predates the existence of the mosque. If that would have been established, then it would have been conclusively proved, proven that a temple existed in the place and that was demolished to build the mosque. When that was the prey, that is the time the Muslim group had gone to the Supreme Court saying that this should not be allowed. Because 1991 Places of Worship Act, which had been passed by Parliament in the wake of the Ayodhya movement. The Ayodhya movement was gaining momentum, and that time it was it was Ram's birthplace. There was a crescendo of demand that. Ram temple, that uh, mosque there must be given over to Hindus. That was a matter of dispute. So, Places of Worship Act said that because that is under dispute, because the courts will have to take final cognizance of it, that's why that is a complex Ayodhya Babri mosque will be out of the purview of the Places of Worship Act. But as, apart from that, all other places of worship will be placed under this Act so that they, their denomination and their structure cannot be altered as they had existed on the Day of Independence of India. 15th of August 1947. So that time, that matter, because the Ayodhya issue had, was the 
most significant focus of the movement. That is the reason why that everyone had accepted it. Although there were certainly arguments that there are many more temples which also must be liberated and the mosques should be demolished and temples should be built. But once that was passed, then the Muslim side said that uh, if this has been passed by Parliament of India, then there should not be uh, allowed any kind of alterations. But in, in the case of Baranasi, Hindu community said that we are not demanding that the mosque should be demolished. We are just asking that the Hindus should also be allowed to make the prayer. That time, the Muslim groups had opposed, saying it, that exactly the same pattern had happened in Babri Mosque. In Babri, initially, it was all under the control of the Muslims, but there it was said that the Hindus should also be allowed to offer prayers. Some Hindu idols were again kept in the uh, temple, and that is how the whole dispute escalated and lay and led to the ma massive Ayodhya movement. And that Ayodhya movement, the Muslim side was of the view that since that Ayodhya movement culminated in the demolition of the Babri Mosque, thanks to a decision by the Supreme Court itself. Supreme Court said that the, the demolition of Babri Mosque by the Hindu Tarsevats was wrong. That was a criminal act. But nevertheless, because it's a matter of faith of Hindus, that's why this must be given over to Hindus and let Muslims build a mosque in an alternate place where they will be given five acres of land. And that was that Supreme Court judgment was accepted by both Hindus and Muslim community. And now there is a very marvelous temple is coming up in Ayodhya, which should be inaugurated soon. So that is in given given that position that Ayodhya is now a done case. There should be no new such controversy arise which would lead to a bigger movement and ultimately create lead to a legal intervention. Muslim side had opposed the very plea is not maintainable in view of the 1991 Places of Worship Act. But the Supreme Court said that let the district court take cognizance of it. Let the district court come to a view, then we will look into the matter. Contrary to the general perception, the district court has taken a position that the carbon dating is not possible and will not be allowed or ASI, Archaeological Survey of India, cannot be allowed to intervene in the matter because Supreme Court itself had said that the area had to be protected and no damage should to the structure be made. But any carbon dating would let, certainly lead to certain damaging of the structure itself. So the matter has now moved to the Supreme Court. Now, Muslim group, a Hindu group has it because it's a, it's a kind of a victory for the Muslim group. So Hindu groups have decided to move to the Supreme Court. What would be the position of the Supreme Court? We do not know that we would be able to see in the next few months. But for the time being, the district court's decision has defended the Places of Worship Act and had said that in view of communal harmony, no such disputes should arise in future. Let us see if the Supreme Court concurs with this view.